Hello, hello, hello. Today we're going to be doing a review on a triple monitor. So let me tell you a little bit of a story. So I get a lot of these emails from Amazon is, hey, would you like to do a review on this product? You know, it could be a toothbrush, lipstick, cover girl. Not interested in any of that. I do like tech stuff. And I did not reach out to this company. They actually reached out to me, I guess, because they saw my review on one of the Amazon products. <clears throat> and usually a lot of the stuff that these companies recommend, if I'm not going to use it, I'm not going to do the review on it. Like, it's that simple. The same way that it was for vape is the same way that it is for tech. That's not saying that I wouldn't do a review on an Android and try to use it. I just prefer to be an Apple uh, enthusiast, if you will. So... This company reached out and I was like, you know what? Triple monitor, sure, I'm down. They didn't pay anything. They just sent the product. So uh, this is called the FOPO. Basically, what it is, is th they make them in multiple size, a 13.3. That's this one because I have the laptop that it fits. They make, I think, a 14 and a 16. I'll put a link down below to the Amazon link uh, that leads to this actual product. And I'm interested because... I'm more concerned whether or not Apple will take it. I don't know if other laptops are made in 13, but I know there are 16, 15s, and 14s. So I, I'm hoping that this works because if it doesn't, well, I'm going to be the one to tell you. I'm hoping that out of the box, I plug it in, I put it on the sides of the monitor, and I guess you would use this instead of having two iPads. I, I doubt you'll be able to actually close the laptop with this attached. I I'm very interested as to what is inside of this box. So I'm not going to waste any time. Let me bring it down, show you everything that's inside of it, hoping that the build quality is good. I think it's roughly about 300 bucks or something. It's not super crazy. Uh, let me look this up right now because now I feel like a fool telling you $380 is the 13-inch, uh, and that's the one we're going to be going over out of the box. That's how we're going to do it because that's, that, that's all that matters. Not how long does it last? Does it, is it really good? And that is the haze out the front. I know how to put a link up on the top there, how to get that guy. So we're just gonna kind of pop this. It's pretty good packaging thus far. And there we go. That's, that's really good packaging. And it does, in fact, come with like a little... It sounded like there was... Nope, something else in there. It does come with a little bag of sorts, which the material... See how this feels? I'll probably end up keeping this. It's just a nice little carry case. So I guess that answers my question of whether or not you can put this on your laptop and put it inside of whatever you store it in now. So laptop size... Must be 12.1 to 16.8 height, height thickness, and we don't support a laptop with a chip M1 or M2 model. You are killing me, bro. You got to be kidding me, because this is what I have. You think that they would ask me? Uh, I have a razor. I guess we're gonna try it on this guy. All right. Well, the razor will not work, but I also have this Dell here, so we're gonna have to. See if it works on that because I cannot test this on Apple products. And you'll see that on the Shark Geek, that that is in fact charging at 34.26 watts. Do love this. I also did a review on this. So uh, we'll let that charge for a little bit as we open this up because I thank God I got that. If you have an M1 or M2 or Apple, it's, it's not going to work. I, I don't know what will happen, but... Based off of this is no good. Please make sure that the power supply is above 5 volt, 2 amp. During use, you can use or include the power adapter. Oh, all right. You see that the seal here, down here. I'm going to zoom all the way out. You cannot get the seal. Just go ahead and break that seal. That's pretty nice. Got a nice soft material here. FAQ, some screen protectors. I don't really know anybody that uses these. And inside of the box, my God, you get a lot of power cables and adapters. Looks like here, okay, so you see here, the first one is a USB-C cable to a USB-C, and that's an, a right angle adapter. You get a little power adapter, USB-C to USB video and power, power only, HDMI, mini HDMI to HDMI cable. 
mini HDMI to HDMI. So we're going to be using video and power. We're going to be using this guy. So what we have, you have your screen here. And then on the other side, you have the screen that comes out that way. Okay. Okay, so one thing that does concern me is that when you fold this up, you see what happens? You have a screen that's actually exposed on the back side. So one is hidden and kind of tucked away. There's no padding on the inside to protect that. But on this one, it's exposed. So you got to be careful about where you put this. So for your port, you have a HDMI that looks like a mini, not a micro. Then your USB-C and a USB-C port. I do apologize for that. And then this is probably your power. I don't think that there's any battery in this whatsoever. Uh, there is a stand of sorts here. This stand comes out, and then I think this would come out as well. And then that is how that, that's held up. So it would sit like this. Your build quality of this is some type of plastic that is not metal. Um, it, it gives the appearance that it's metal, but it is not. So all the way opened up, it is it is quite large. It is. So on the back side of this, this will extend based off of how large of a laptop you're going to put that in. So your first one is for the power. It's a little battery indicator. I know it's a little hard to see. You got your mini HDMI, not to be confused with the micro. And then you have your USB there. I'm assuming that's a USB out. You're up, down, and I guess that's a menu. And when you open this up all the way, you're going to see these little tiny ridges here. And these ridges are what's going to allow you to sit this on the laptop. Okay, and they are soft on the inside, some little, uh, some type of soft material of such. Uh, I don't know if I should be slamming out like that. I am marking my desk all up. But, and then once it's on, if you want to use it without that, and you want to um, use your leg here, you're also, I don't it's not focusing. You also have that leg that can come out, kind of lift that out, push this button, and then pull that out. And then that acts as a kickstand. It does not stay up though. So it has to be sit, resting on something for that. And it's, it doesn't really go much than this. So that's like maybe a 30 degree angle. I'd like to see more. I would have actually liked to see this built out of metal, but for $300, you get what you pay for. So what we're going to do now is we're going to try to put this on a laptop. I don't know how much battery life is on the laptop, but how am I going to do this? We're going to have to change the camera around. I don't have any room upstairs at all to do this, so we're here now. But you can tell that the fingerprints all over the screen. I mean, they're all over it, and it is extremely magnetic. So we're going to use the ports on the side here. We're going to run. I do have a USB-C. Now, this is a small, small laptop. I hope. Yeah, I know it's got a USB-C somewhere. There it is. Over here. Boop. Okay. And then we're going to log into this. This is a small laptop, but because it does not work on an Apple product, we're just going to kind of slide this on. And you can see that automatically uh, it is, it's too large. All right, it's got these little tiny, that, that's, that's the most that I could do. So you'll see here that with this screen, I don't know what Dell this is, but if I go like this, it's okay. You do have these little clips down here. If this monitor was a little bit larger, right, it would work. But on the back of this, there's no way to shrink this down. And there's also no way to lock it in. So uh, once you have that on, we're going to see if we can get this to work. And we're going to run all the way over here. And, okay. Okay. This screen looks better than... It kind of does. The one that is on this looks better than the Dell one, so that's nice. <laughs> so you have to run two cables to them, not just one. We're going to see how this screen looks. Oddly enough, um, these screens do look better automatically picks it up. So I do have some flaws with this. 
The first flaw is that there's no way to lock that in left to right. You can open it or close it. I don't see a way to latch it. It's just kind of what it is is what it is. So if it's going to sit on a laptop, which kind of defeats the purpose of a laptop being portable, uh, you should have some type of anti-fingerprint, those screen protectors, you should already be on there. Then again, I get it, some people don't want it. The problem I have is a laptop, the definition is laptop. It goes on your lap, the top of your lap, so it makes it portable. You to make it where it's not so portable by adding these, it's a nice feature. And you saw on Windows, it allowed me to detect them as different displays. The issue is, is that you have to use the USB-C ports. Now, what if your laptop only has one? You're going to have to try to use some single splitter to get that to go to one. What they should have done in this is cut out some type of groove or something to where the USBs are already built in and they just kind of swing around, sort of like a DJI drone. You know, it comes a little cable and it's already plugged into the controller and you just kind of plug it into the phone. I get it. You're going to say, well, what about the ones that are a little bit larger? I, I, I don't know. Then make a track. You've seen the ones, uh, the things that you put your microphones on where it hides the cable. This, it, it serves its purpose well for what it is. If Let's just say you had a bigger monitor and you didn't want to spend an extra $900 on an individual monitor or, or $1,800 or whatever on two different monitors. You could get this and not put this on a laptop. This could be just for a PC. It, it, it would have its uses. I don't know about being on a laptop, though. If it's a laptop that's a permanent desktop, you don't have the money to get a regular desktop, so you got a laptop, then it makes sense. It also makes sense if you're going to use two different displays. It's just... You need two USB-C ports, or you need a USB-C to mini HDMI, so it really limits it. It should have been dialed down to one connection, although I don't think that you could do that with one connection. I have not tried this on the laptop, but if it says it doesn't work on M1, it probably doesn't. It actually is working. You see that? Um, it 100% it, it is working, and if I move... It's basically mirroring my display, right? So if I open up the news, it shows as a separate display. That is interesting. So this does allow you to use this as a separate display. I don't know why it says that it does not work with Mac because this is on an M2 and it is working just with the USB. So if you wanted to, you could, in theory, put this on a MacBook, regardless of what those instructions say, they do work. So just a heads up there. It, it's, not, it's not necessarily bad, okay? It's, it's, not, it's not a bad setup. It's just, it, it, it will need, <laughs> it is for a very select few set of people. So for $300, is it worth it? 100%. Yes. You are getting two monitors. You do need two USB-C ports and technology USB-C. Remember USB-A? You wouldn't be able to do that. So uh, it's not bad. It's not bad for 279 bucks. If you have a need for it, I would not. Uh, I mean, you. I'm sure they make some type of adapter where you can use two iPads. There might be a purpose on it. And it doesn't look as good as the Mac screen or uh, um. The MacBook Pro does, obviously, but it does look as good as that Dell XPS 13. Keep in mind that is seven years old. So uh, all in all, for 300 bucks, yes, I do think it's worth it.